Hi, I'm Lana, and today we are traveling to Monument Valley, a beautiful, majestic land that belongs to Navajo Nation, and it's located between Utah and Arizona. It's kind of on the border between those two states. It's famous for its awesome uh, shaped rocks and red colors, blue, purple colors, and this is the iconic entrance to the Monument Valley, which was filmed in many movies mostly western movies but some of them are not western movies the colors are absolutely beautiful in the morning they're blue and purple but at the end of the day they turn into flaming red the man who made uh, famous this little place is john wayne who was the american famous actor of the western movies and this was his favorite place to shoot his uh, very dynamic and beautiful movies uh, right now a lot of tourists are coming to see those places but I would suggest you to hire the local guide because other day, uh, than just the very few views you will not see the whole beauty of the valley and uh, they do magic tours where you can see all kind of really spectacular rocks and if you are in a good uh, relationship with them they can even sometimes play you a flute Carding. Carding. So it gets the fibers going in a uniform direction and it's also a final cleaning step as well. When she gets done with this, she's going to put it onto that spindle and then it'll be spun into yarn for the rugs. So if you ever look at a Navajo rug like this one here, if a rug has a border going all the way around, there will be an internal color coming through that border. You see this little line here? coming through the border. There's one here on this one. You see the little line going all the way through? The spirit line. So there's songs and prayers that go in to create these. And that's to allow the spirit of the weaver to exit the rug. Oh. Here comes the magic portion. This is the magic. No knots. It's just blended together. And then it will be spun into the yarn. So that's how all the rugs in this room are started from this process. Mm -hmm. um, the sheep, they produce four colors, white, brown, black, and gray, like the ones hanging there. Um, all of the other different colors, they come from the plants. They harvest the plants and they would boil the plants and that's where it takes on the different colors. There's a chart that shows the different plants and the different colors they create. So the different plants 
produce different colors mm -hmm. for the yarn. How about those bright ones? That's probably not the This one? This is natural. No, this, yeah, this, I don't know. This blue is probably a synthetic color. Mm -hmm. So this is more natural. This one is all natural. That one's natural colors. And then on the floor here are some of the tools that they use as well. This one here is uh, called greasewood sticks. They were used for cooking, for stirring, for mixing. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. This one here is yucca root. This is used as soap for washing, mm -hmm. for bathing. The white portion on the inside, like this one here, this white part is used as soap. Mm -hmm. This one is called buffalo grass. This is used for combing your hair, for a hairbrush. Mm -hmm. And then the abalone shells used to create medicines. These were came to us by trade long, long, long time ago. And then the, we started to master silversmithing, making jewelry, and then they used the insides to make jewelry. And then the clay pots, we still create clay pots as well. And ceremonial baskets, uh, used for different ceremonies, healing ceremonies, weddings, and this one as well. Grinding stones, used to grind corn. See this, a little bit of corn. They crack the corn with the stone, and then they slowly grind it, and that's how they make cornmeal. And then the cradle board for the babies, for travel. Different parts of the cradle board. This one is called large rainbow for protection. Mm -hmm. Short rainbow for support. These straps on the side represent sacred mountains and peaks. This strap here is called lifeline or lightning. Hold the baby. The backs here, this side is representation of male and representation of female. The bond between male and female to create the child. So you can tell um, the sex of the baby depending on where this knot starts. So this one starts on the right. So this baby is a girl. If the knot was here, it'd be a boy. So, so if the baby were to fall, big rainbow would roll it to the side so it protects the baby this is the full size one they would be in there for maybe about a year or until they started to walk mm -hmm. keeping the back straight also. yes yes very nice mm -hmm. pretty neat huh lots of logs in this home Get good pictures so when you get back to Russia you can make one. <laughs> yes. And now our little tour is coming to the end and my friend Jana and I uh, will be happy to see likes under this movie and if you had fun with us please subscribe to our channel.